that Amber Canyon's update is now available in small lands. I'm going to show you how to get the brand new hand cannon and a plethora of new tools and weapons. Also some signposting tips on how to get the scorpion treat to hopefully get a scorpion and unlock the scorpion armor. Leave a like if you find it useful, let's go. You need to head north over the park to the brand new desert biome. It's not going to be easy, the turrets may shoot you if you're on a flying creature or even gliding, but there is kind of almost a safe route just in front of that car. There are a number of steps you're going to need to actually get this hand cannon, so it's not likely you turn up at the trader and you'll be able to get it straight away. But certainly this is one of the first steps towards it. Here it is on a screenshot of the map marked under Cowboy. He'll be sitting in his little ranch building and you're pretty much safe here. He's going to tell you about another place you need to visit to the far west, but in this first instance you'll at least learn the brand new bombs that you can throw. But first he needs you to deliver him some of the brand new fire sand, so that's why you need to go and gather the two new resources, saltpeter and sulphur. So make sure you bring some charcoal, two pieces with you, you'll need three pieces of refined saltpeter and one piece of refined sulphur. The sulphur is the easiest one to find, it's more commonly found all along the road and pretty much everywhere. You will need an iron or better pickaxe to go and harvest it though. And the saltpeter you'll find more in caves and alcoves scattered around the edges of the canyons and certain areas. Then you've just got to head back and obviously refine it at your pocket free table. And return to the cowboy trader, otherwise known as Granger, and now you've unlocked the fire sand bomb and fire sand. Pretty much done with this guy for now, you have to head over to the west to get the recipe for scorpion food and then you give the scorpion tails, six of them, to him and then he'll give you the brand new gun. The bombs and the fire sand are pretty expensive. The bombs you need some pyrite, two of them, and then you're also going to need two pieces of scorpion chitin and five fire sand. So you need to pick up 15 refined saltpeter, five refined sulfur and ten charcoal just to make five fire sands to go ahead and make the bombs. Although you do get 10 bombs in return. The bombs are pretty powerful, but I would say save them resources just to make the ammo for the gun once you've unlocked it. As you can see here, it still takes quite a few to do a good amount of damage, although I did reduce it pretty much to half or three quarters there. So the next location you need to go is all the way over to the west where we're going to go to the temple. You can see it's marked by the scorpion tree here, thanks to Chicky Rocker for the screenshot. It is in a chasm, so either bring some hooks with you or make sure obviously you've got some sort of wings to make life a bit easier. Although there are ways that you can actually run down here on foot if you really don't want to fly. So of course the new turrets will shoot your bird down, you see one on the left there on the canyon. There are ways to disable them, you just need to kill all the enemies that come out once you get close. You'll know they're deactivated because the gun nozzle will go down, but there are some cave entrances. If you don't want to fly or use your wings, there is a way that you can walk down just by going through the canyon area, but you may want to bring some hooks with you just in case. Otherwise, if you manage to get this far and only took a small amount of damage, you can low level fly across the ground unless they manage to change anything or put more turrets down. If you make sure you click the speed button, hopefully you won't get a shot like I did here. Otherwise, you can literally just hop on your bird on foot and you'll be relatively safe. There are scorpions and some beetles, but not really in a direct line here. As long as you keep going forward only, you shouldn't run into too many problems and you'll see the cannon opening. That's where you need to get down and go into the larger, large crevice. You can actually fly in here. I didn't encounter any turrets shooting me down. And then you just want to follow it all the way to the left hand side and there you should see the temple. There's no enemies in this temple either, so go ahead and land directly. You will need six scorpion tails, or telsons as they're called, to go ahead and deposit at this altar to open the doorway to meet Sarnak. Once inside, you'll also need to bring a ton of hoots with you to get the brand new armor sets, as well as unlock the scorpion tree. It's 100 hoots for the armor set, it's 50 for the brand new hammer, and 75 for the scorpion tree. For scorpion tree, you're going to need one blood sack, one frog flesh, one petal and one seed oil. Once you've handed the tree over to Granger, he'll then give you the recipe for the hand cannon and the iron ammo. You need two pieces of flint, ten pieces of pyrite, ten iron ingots, five reishi leather and ten pieces of iron. 
There was a small minor update that I kind of missed out on because I just didn't have enough time and it wasn't chunky enough. And I think this is when they added the ironwood. So you will need a pirate hatchet to go ahead and harvest some. You'll find some in a desert biome and I'm pretty sure you might find it in other places too. This was the only kind of resource that I'd maybe missed or hadn't seen before, obviously knew that was part of this new update. It's obviously any of the saplings that have got thorns on them. So pretty expensive to go ahead and make all that. The iron ammo which you'll need for your gun requires five iron ingots and 10 of the fire sand. And that's pretty much it. Obviously that is the bulk of the update. That is really the main objective of this new area to go and get these new weapons and new armors. I will take a look on maybe better ways to take care of scorpions and hopefully get that full scorpion armor in a separate guide. There is also a brand new sword, but you do need to kill a special creature to get hold of it, which has just been added too. You can check out my Let's Play to see exactly what that weapon was. Otherwise, wait for another small mini guide from me and look out for even more tutorials on the new Small Land update. Hopefully, it's been useful. Please leave a like if you have and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you, Ratbags, for more soon. Goodbye.